I think we gotta fix the sound, guys. What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million. And as you guys heard, it's not the most exciting sound that's been on this channel. It actually doesn't sound too bad, but we're gonna make it better. And I'm gonna confess, it wasn't easy to choose what we're gonna to do to this bike in terms of the exhaust because there's so many great options out there. And if you guys look out for the next video that's gonna come out after this one, is the ultimate exhaust guide for a BMW. And when I say BMW, it's the S1000RR, M1000RR, S1000 Single R, and the M1000 Single R. We go through some of the questions that are commonly asked about the exhaust systems and stuff that's around the exhaust system. So look out for that video. But for today's video, we ended up choosing the Aero header and mid pipe. We're gonna go with the titanium one, obviously, because it gives you the lightness that you need, but it's also gonna be giving us the power that we're looking for. And I've never heard one of these bikes with the factory slip-on on it or the muffler on it. And I just wanted to really see how it sounds because I kind of like the look of this exhaust but also it gives us the option to change this thing around if you ever get bored or if you want to test something out we could just remove the muffler and put on any other muffler that we have available and all this information is on that video that as i described so as i always say less talking more wrenching let's go it is so refreshing to change an exhaust on these bikes after we've been dealing with our sp2 our Panigale v4 sp2 because this is such an easy job compared to anything that we've done on the ducatis and uh, for you guys who don't know when you put a full exhaust on a Panigale v4 a street fighter v4 it's 10 hours of labor that you get charged for it which is insanity as opposed to this I think anyone who's done this before could do it in about an hour or two hours at the most. And that includes taking off the bodywork and putting it back on, which I think takes the most time. Obviously, we're not showing you every single step and how or how long it takes, guys. But I don't know if you guys can tell, it took Less time to take off the slip-on part and the, whatever the header is held on by, which is the flanges and the bracket that's here, than to take off the O2 sensors and this servo motor. That's how easy it is, which is, like I said, it's really refreshing and makes it a little more fun. Finally, it's out. We're gonna weigh this. It's actually pretty light, but the Aero header and mid pipe and also the Cropage header and mid pipe are definitely lighter than this. I'm just gonna weigh it just to show you guys the weight difference. We've done this a couple times before, but I don't think we have done it on camera. Let's get it weighed up, tell you guys the weight difference, and then we'll start putting it back together. There you go, the servo motor's out. So let's weigh everything, big bracket. And has two, uh, two metal pins in there too. Let me remove these things and then we'll get a proper reading of what we took off the bike and then we'll weigh what we're gonna put on it to know the difference. So this is the stock muffler box with everything that we took off that's not going on the bike. It's measuring at 13.6 pounds. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab our arrow header and mid pipe and put all the hardware that's included with it that's gonna go on the bike so that we know what the difference is. Believe it or not, this is the aero and header and mid pipe box. It's pretty compact, but trust me, there is a set of header and mid pipe pipes in here. There we go, all the flanges and springs. And this is all of our runners, our collector pipe, and one more runner. So guys, I have everything on the scale that's gonna go back on the bike. That's 5.7 pounds, that's, that's quite low. 
Even the Akrapovich headers, I think are six point something or seven point something pounds. So this is truly a very lightweight header and mid pipe system. And we're gonna find out if it makes power or not when we hit to the dyno. But before that, let's get this back on the bike and let's make some noise. And a quick tip, when you get the headers from Aero, they're numbered one, two, and three. And that way you know which pipe is which pipe. And then there is also connecting tubes here. Obviously you could figure out how it's gonna go because you can't put the wrong ones together and you'll see it. So one goes into two, three goes into four. Guys, these are the header flanges oriented. So make sure that you get the orientation right. And it shows it on your instructions manual. The Akrapovich ones show it too. But just a word of caution, guys. The Akrapovich headers come pretty much pre-built and these are pressed in like this. And when you're doing an Akrapovich header, we get this question a lot. If the flange is not the right way, people don't think of pulling it out and switching it around. It actually is a lot tighter than this one that we have here. So people kind of get confused because they try to pull it and it doesn't come off that easily. So that's just a tip. But I'm gonna get the flanges on, then we're gonna start piping the exhaust back on. What I'm doing right now is I'm initially just going to be applying some rubbing alcohol to clean off the headers to get any kind of uh, grease or anything like that off of it. And before our first start, I'll be applying a little bit of WD-40 to get that really nice blue color that we get. Guys, essentially it's ready to start, but I want to put WD-40 on the pipes. It helps it get nice and blue. And then it also degreases it, right? Because WD-40 is not a lubricant, it's technically a degreaser. And then we're going to put our oil cooler back on because it gives me a little more access to put this stuff on. We're going to put our oil cooler bracket back on. Then we'll put the muffler on and we'll start the bike. Guys, it's done, exhaust is on. Before I start the bike, I'm gonna do a final wipe with the WD-40. It looks great. Obviously, we're missing the big muffler box on it and it hasn't blued yet. Once we turn it on, it's gonna instantly start bluing. If you take a look here, these pipes are still in the raw titanium color. Once we turn it on, it's gonna start bluing. But let me just wipe this down. I'm excited to see what it's gonna sound like. And of course, we're gonna show it to you guys as well. Guys. It's time, let's start this thing up. It's gonna smoke a little bit, but let's hear this.
Oh my God, guys, that sounds great. Sounds a little louder than I expected. Don't forget we're indoors, so it could be that, but we'll pull this bike out after and make some noise outside to show it to you guys. And I also want to hear it because I can't really rev it too high inside because it's not fully, fully warmed up for me to be easy with it. But next we're going to do our supporting mod. So we're going to pull our tank off and put our velocity stacks and a couple of the things that we're going to do to the bike. And when we do that, we could flash and it's going to get rid of that rev hang that it does when it starts up because it has a warm up sequence on it. And uh, I think it looks good. It looks great actually to me. And the exhaust pipes have already blewed up because this bike runs quite a bit of heat. And I think it has something to do with that warm up sequence as well. I don't know what do you guys think. You guys like this muffler on it? Should we try something else? I'd really like to hear your opinion on it. But we're not done yet. We're gonna do all the mods. We wanna take it back to the dyno to see the change in power. And until then, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.